There are many theories of human development, and today we're going to talk about the theories of Noam Chomsky. Linguist Noam Chomsky taught in universities in Massachusetts and England. He shed a new light on psycholinguistics, or the link between psychology and linguistics. Chomsky identified four main elements of language development, phenomes, morphemes, semantics, and syntax. Phenomes are the smallest unit that contains sound. If you take the root phone, you can easily remember this, because when you make a call on a telephone, you hear sound. David G. Myers offers some great examples. Take the word bat. There are three phenomes in there. B, at. The word chat has three as well. Ch, at. Morphemes are the smallest unit that contain meaning. The root re means to do again. Pre means having done already. Post, having done after. Now onto semantics, which is defined by David G. Myers as the rules by which we derive meaning from morphemes, words, and sentences in a given language. For example, by adding ing to the end of the verb, we understand that it's in the present tense. For example, I am speaking about language development. If you add ed to the end of a verb, you understand that it's in the past tense. I talked about semantics. Syntax is the grammar in which we used to speak. For example, in the English language, we put adjective followed by noun. So we say pink shirt as opposed to shirt pink. Now, syntax is dependent on each language. In French, they put nouns followed by adjectives. So you would say chemise rose not rose chemise. But Chomsky hypothesized that all humans use the language acquisition device, or LAD, to understand syntax, the concept of using nouns, verbs, adjectives, and so on to express oneself. So these are the steps to learning what are the stages. The babbling one word and two word stages are found in early child language development. The babbling stage is as it sounds. Infants use meaningless words to express themselves, such as blah blah, gaga, goo goo. This we refer to as baby talk. Next is the one word stage. The one word stage uses one word to express oneself. For example, mommy, hungry, cat. Can you see where this is leading? The two word stage uses two words to express oneself. For example, run dog, see cat, and play toys. Because of the combination of nouns, adjectives, verbs, and other elements of grammar, Chomsky understood that these steps to understanding language and stages in developing speech were universal. How did he know that, you may ask? By studying children. At the same time, B.F. Skinner, an observational psychologist, argued that children observe language from the peers around them. However, Chomsky did not support this theory. He understood that children understand morphemes and learn syntax as they get older. For example, if a mother says, where did we go yesterday? The child would reply, we go to the store. This is because the morphine ED, as we already stated, refers to the past, and the child understands that a verb with the ending ED refers to the past. However, the syntax of that statement is an irregular verb, went, which the child has not learned. To recap, language is built from phenomes, morphemes, semantics, and syntax as one develops through the babbling one-word, two-word stages in order to develop full speech. This is the fourth video in an eight-week series on human development. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll talk about the theories of Harry Harlow. Thanks for watching. Bye!